say it, I make, I'm about to make history, ladies and gentlemen, because this young man has never done this before. Yeah, I'm telling on him. I'm giving it up. I'm telling. The whole world knows that this is going to be an exclusive. It is a world premiere with my friend. He is one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network, and I'm going to introduce him to each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes, my friend uh, Mitch Cantor is here live on the GMAP Broadcast Network. Mitch, good afternoon, sir. How you doing? Testing. Can you hear me? Absolutely can hear you. All right. I'm doing great. How, how are you and everybody else doing? Oh, please now, Mitch. That's a loaded question. If you have to ask me, I must be slipping. Stop it. I'm wonderful. <laughs> well, you know... Uh... First and foremost, Mitch, I want to thank you so much for taking time out, taking time out of your busy, busy schedule. And of course, you're in that area where they build pools for a living. And I'm in the area where they don't build pools for a living. So I tell you, <laughs> I just want to keep it simple. And thanks again for being here. And once again, thank you also, Mitch, for, for simply being a part of our broadcast network family. I want you to do me a kind favor, if you don't mind. Introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Who is Mitch Cantor? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> see. Where do I start? I was born in Brooklyn, and I lived most of my life on Long Island. Uh, I ran a business on Long Island, as Kevin brushed brushed over. Uh, home improvement business, which was uh, 40-something years of my life. And it was a joy to meet all the people, thousands of people that I met and I worked for. Uh, my business was successful. We reached an Inc. Inc. 5000 status. It was called Sun Design Pools, if anybody out there used us. And I have retired from that part of my life and I'm in my creative stage. I've written a, a book called It's the Other Guy, which is about my business. I've also done, I've gotten back into my songwriting and I'm uh, trying to get a documentary going as well. So it's a, my my last phase of my life, I'm assuming, and the, my creative phase. Mm. Um, and again, uh, the joy that I have is just meeting people. I meet people every day. I love meeting people. I love helping people. Uh, I think my book is a, is a good help to especially the small business person, mm. uh, the person that's, you know, starting out, running this business 10, you know, less than 10 years, is still getting their their feet wet in whatever business they're doing. Because whatever business you're doing, you have the same problems as everybody else and the same goals as everybody else. And, uh, you know, what my book does is it goes through my 40 years and just uh, lays out what worked for me and uh it's just like i say a pleasure meeting new people um, it's the other guy it's i mean it, it's, it's it's the other guy i mean and, and a lot of people um it's may not may not in fact know exactly what that means because when i when i when i first saw the title it kind of i i was my assumption was it's the other guy it's the other guy you know um and it it gave me something to think about especially when you told me about it now ladies and gentlemen for those that don't know it's the other guy i mean it, it, it it's say goodbye to bad clients and hello to bigger profits and a better life i mean that kind of broke it down a little bit, but I want you, uh, Mitch, to come on and break that down a little more. Why is it the other guy? What made you or gave you the concept to say, hey, I need to tell them what this is like. It's the other guy. Where did it come from? And explain it to us, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. The first half of the book is ab about the importance of looking at the people that are coming to you to work for them and to understand certain things about them. Uh, 
there's, I divided the book into three categories of people. The first category I called the elites. Those were the people that had the extra money and, but you know, they were particular and they wanted things done a certain way. But if you did what you tell them you're going to do and you do a good job and you are respectful and go through the process with them, they are your best friends for life and will refer you to their friends and they're a great clientele. The second is the majority of people. I call them the fair and flexible. And these people are the working class. I'm in the working class. They're, they're the, the people that, you know, you see them for a pool. Can you throw in a diving board? Can you give them a little better price? Whatever it is. But when you started the job, they paid you back in spades. They were the nicest people to work for. They would take care of your guys. They would bring them uh, iced tea on a hot day, whatever it was. When it was time to make a payment, they paid it immediately. So it was worth it to give them a little discount. The third group were the red flags. And I wish nobody gets any red flags because what the red flags are, are people that when you first meet them, they come across that they're going to be easy to work for and all this other stuff. But the minute you agree, sign your sign, shake hands and, you know, sign your paperwork, the minute that that's over, they turn into very difficult people, very unfair people. Uh, as the job progresses, they'll make they'll complain about things that didn't exist. Uh, you know, I would build pools. And, you know, it, you have to build a level pool, but a level pool can be a, a quarter of an inch off level. You can't build a pool perfectly level. But the red flags would complain that their pool was the littlest little bit off level and things like that. And they never paid you on time. So the question is, is how do you get into somebody's house and in the 20 minutes or a half hour that you're going to spend there meeting them, maybe 45 minutes and, and talking about a pool, how do you know who they are? And this book goes into that in great detail. Um, I'll give you some little parts of it. Uh, you know, you, the first thing of, of, of developing a relationship with anybody is building rapport. And it talks about the importance of rapport. rapport. I'd be in your home for 20 minutes and I'd never mention the word swimming pool until we built rapport and until I knew who you were, I might look at the pictures in your dining room wall. I may see a picture of your son playing baseball and I'd say, you know, oh, my son plays baseball. And you'd get into conversations that would open the door to who they were. You, you would talk about other contractors, you know, they would say, well, I sued this guy and I did this to this guy. And I mean, that's obvious that you just don't want to work for them. But there's more subtle things, and it's important to know it. And if you could avoid those red flags, you will save yourself so much headaches. Your business will be much happier. Your employees will thank you. And that's the first half of the book, is distinguishing between those three customers and who you should work for and who you should be so happy that you will be working for and who you got to stay away from. Wow. The other and it's the other guy. Yes, the other guy means if your business is not being as successful as you like, it might not be anything to do with you. It might have to do with these few customers that you've choose, chosen to work for, who are are pushing you into a place you don't want to go. So that's what it means. It's the other guy. It's not it's you. The other guy, and you know, such an interesting concept and. Uh, uh, for those that don't know, now you know, Mitch, you know, once again, is one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. We are encouraging all of you, uh, uh, those of you that are here watching today on the GMAP Broadcast Network, those that are joining us from our Comcast Xfinity platform, and those that are even joining us from our MMGH TV partnership in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, all they want you to do is stop by our broadcast network site, click on the tab that is simply titled Featured Authors. And if and when you do that, you will see a copy of the uh, current publication that I'm showing you on our television screen. It's the other guy, Mitch Cantor. And of course, you click on that cover 
and it will take you to the necessary location to find out more intimate information and details about the author as well as the publication. Now, Mitch, I'm going to talk, I'm going to ask you this question and I know that, that, that you've been on your journey. You have written this book and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, that's one of Mitch's songs in the back of that trailer I played earlier that I'm going to play a little bit later on. Exciting to me because I was kind of intrigued by uh, 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 the song and, and, and it, it, it keep on trying. It kind of fits. I mean, it's something that goes along with the concept of it's the other guy. Don't give up. If, in fact, you may run across some of those red flag clients, don't give up. Keep on trying. Keep pushing. Be motivated. Be inspired. Be encouraged. Because in order to build pools in California, you got to inspire yourself. I mean, you got to be fired up every day. I, You know what? I can, I can probably build pools, Mitch, in Chicago because it won't require too much of my <laughs> attention. But nevertheless, when you look over your journey, when you look over your process, when you look at where you started and where you are, let me ask you this question. What's next? What's next for you as an author? Well, I do have a number of books in the works. That's the first one that I wrote and completed. Um, I could give you my next two books briefly what they're about because I think they're also important subjects. The first book I'm working on right now is called Forgiveness on the Road to Happiness. And it's a book about all the people, all the mothers and daughters and friends that haven't spoken to each other for 20 or 25 years now. They don't even remember what caused the riff in the first place and how sad it is and unproductive that they can't forgive each other and move back into a good place. And it goes into much more areas of, you know, where this applies, but that's the other, one of the books, Forgiveness on the Road to Happiness. The other book I'm in the middle of is, the, the working title is called The Newton Experience. And it's basically a book about change and the importance of change. Uh, when I was young, uh, I was not a confident person. I grew up in a place I wasn't happy on Long Island. It wasn't the place's fault. It was just where I was at. And when I was 15 years old, my, my father got uh, relocated to Boston and my family got in the car and we drove up to Newton, Massachusetts, which is a suburb of Boston. And the minute I got out of the car that day, I felt something come over me something that was fantastic. Uh, it just, it was like I was breaking out of this cocoon like a butterfly. And I became, I was only up there about two years, but I became, uh, I became who I am today because uh, it, it, nothing has changed in me since that time. And then I actually went back to Long Island and I went, I finished my last year of high school on Long Island and all these people that thought I was something and they saw who I was, they, they didn't recognize me. It was a totally new experience. And the purpose of the book is to take that experiences and other experiences that I have and other people have, because uh, a feature of my books, and it's in my first book so far, is I went out to like 20 contractors and I asked them to give me a story of their red flag, of a customer that they remember who they wish they never worked for, and they all had stories, and I'll do the same thing in the new books. And just that we shouldn't be afraid of change. I'm not saying all change is good, we gotta be careful what we change, but when you're in a place and you need to go to another place, and you know it's a good place, do it. Don't hesitate, just do it, and your life will be forever better. Wow. Those are the two books. And, of course, I'm sure that uh, uh, Mitch is going to keep us posted. Uh, coming up, uh, I'm going to take a quick break because I'm going to come back and I'm going to find out how, in fact, you, you and you around the world can show your love, care, concern, and support and be a, a, a blessing to Mitch. Purchase some of uh, a copy of the book. Share the information on your social media platforms. Uh, I mean, hey, let's face it. You share everything else. Share this also. 
So we're going to do that, but I want to take a quick break. I'll be back right after this with our special guest, one of our featured authors. Ms. Cantor is here, and we are live on the number one station in the nation, GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. Stay close. Don't move. We'll be back right after this. It's not always what it seems Standing still or swimming upstream Keep on trying Another day, another My bad. I, I get a little excited sometimes. Once again, thank you to our uh, partners, uh, Comcast, Roku, Daniel, MMGHTV. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you let me know that it's going good and everything looks clear. And, of course, we have Mitch Cantor here, one of our featured authors. And, of course, I love the song. Mitch, I love the song, man. Why didn't you continue being a songwriter and, uh, uh, versus writing books? Why don't you tell us about that? I mean, come on. What's the deal? I mean, why? <laughs> well, it's not one or the other. I mean, I have a number of creative ventures. Uh, if if they go to the to your site and click on my book, they'll get directed to my general website, and uh -huh. all of my ventures are on that website. My music, my documentary, as well as the book. Uh, I've been writing off and on my whole life, uh, and I've had an opportunity now to work with the most amazing people. I do a lot of work in Florida. And uh, as oh, well wait, as wait, 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 a lot of work where? In the warm state of Florida. <laughs> I did that. I'm sorry, man. I had to pick with you, Mitch. I had to pick with you because That's Daniel, okay. uh, Daniel, did you hear that? Mitch <laughs> is in Florida quite often, so I'm gonna make sure that you two connect. You know, my partner that would be is lovely. In, yeah, my part, and 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 actually, he has a pool. In his backyard, a <laughs> mate. You know, I went down there to set his uh his uh streaming platform up many years ago, and I was so disappointed when I got there because he had this beautiful pool in the back, and it had no water in it. Oh, so, that's not good. Uh, no, 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 no. I was super, <laughs> super disappointed. But he said he was getting it worked on. So, Chet, I wonder if that was you, Mitch, working on that pool. I probably had my secret mask on. Of course ah! not. No, that was not me. Well, that's an amazing thing. And, of course, um, uh, uh, as you said before, we encourage people to go and uh, stop by our broadcast network site. Mitch, you got some great music, man. I love. Uh, I, I've listened to a couple of the songs. I encourage even uh, those that are uh, uh, viewing and listening right here and right now and or may catch the uh, uh, a copy of the rebroadcast. I want you to go check out some of the music because there was a few songs on it I really, really like. But Keep On Trying was something that attracted me. I didn't even have to play 20 seconds of it and I embraced it. And uh, I encourage others to do so. Mitch, if someone wanted to in fact show their love, care, concern, and support to you, they wanted to go out and they wanted to purchase, number one, a copy of, uh, of your latest book release and, uh, and maybe even some of your music, uh, what's the process? I mean, what do you suggest? What do you encourage them to do? All right. The first thing is, uh, let's go to my website. It's my name, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H, Cantor, C-A-N-T-O-R.com. Uh, at that site, you'll see the book. There's a long explanation of, of what's in it. A lot of people's criticism, comments, uh, a link to Amazon. Amazon actually just put the book on a Black Friday sale. So it's selling for a very small amount. And I'm very happy for that because that's been my goal from the beginning is just get the book into as many hands as possible. Uh, and so that's great. It'll also take you to my song site. 
And really, uh, my email is there. If you see anything that you like, if you see a song you like, send me an email. Uh, I work with a lot of young artists and work to develop them and get them off the ground. If you are that young artist, go to my website or send me, you know, go to my, you know, send me an email. Everything's on the website. And uh, really, the best thing that people could do is just enjoy what I'm doing. And if they read the book and they get a, a good feeling from it, if they listen to some songs and they enjoy it, they've made my day. Yeah, and they've made my day. And of course, uh, so I, I didn't know that. I'm going to rewind the tape and press play on you a little bit. Uh, you work with musicians or artists uh, who are currently writing songs and things of that. So, so, so you're somewhat like a producer. Uh, I'm I'm an executive producer. I work with some amazing artists. Uh, I mean, Miami is one of the three hotbeds of music in the country. Uh, I do all my recording down there. Uh, Circle Studios is uh, maybe one of the most famous recording studios there are. Uh, it's just terrific down there. And besides that, it's 75 degrees every day. <laughs> Yeah, okay, enough said about that. I'm going to hang up on you because I don't get that here in the Chicago land area. You know, it's 75 degrees where he's located, and if you go outside and use the washroom, it'll probably freeze before it hit the ground. Let's just tell you like that because it's super, super. And last night, we had a heat wave at 40 degrees. 40. That's cold where you are. I'm in New Jersey. It's the same thing. Yeah. Today, I mean, yesterday was heat wave, and then by the time the nighttime hit, it, it was below zero. See, I mean, it was crazy. Well, let's put it this way, Mitch. We have bipolar weather. Okay. okay. So, so yep. it, you know, it does what it wants, what it wants, and we just have to simply accept it when we can. Now, somebody might want to reach out to you, and of course, uh, you have mentioned the fact that you have your website. And, of course, they can click on the book. They can find out all the information. But I just want to ask you now, is there something specific uh, uh, that you'd like to share if someone wanted to reach out and contact you? Is there a direct line, email, phone number? I mean, something that they can do. Everything. Everything. My email is my name, Mitch Cantor, M-I-T-C-H-C-A-N-T-O-R, mm -hmm. the number five at gmail.com. And I encourage anybody to reach out to me and with questions and maybe we'll hit it off and start a lifelong relationship. Uh, but the website and that email, the easiest ways. Got to let you know, uh, Mitch Cantor is here. And of course, he is one of our featured authors. And of course, for those of you that I would like to encourage, it's the other guy. You know, say goodbye uh, to bad clients. And hello, I like that word. To better profits and a better life pick up your copy today and of course encourage others if you ever wanted to start a a, a, a a new business if you ever got involved if you're with someone hey it's almost as great or even greater as a form or a resource for you this book is something that you must pick up for your archives and encourage others to do so uh, at the same time, I know it's going to be a great read and you go to the website. You're also going to be able to hear some great music. I'm encouraging you to do so. And of course, uh, I want you guys to do me one exclusive favor. When you do pick up the book, read it, share it, but take a few moments and leave a review. Please leave a review. Florida, leave a review. Chicago, leave a review. Wherever you are, once you get a copy, read a copy, leave a review. It only takes a few moments, and it will be highly appreciated by Mitch, of course, Amazon, myself, and those that are on the outside looking in, those that want to know how you feel or what you think about the book, please leave a review. My goal every time I speak with one of our featured authors is to say, I want to jump this thing off and I want to collectively come together and make sure at the very least we get 100 reviews on, on this publication. 
because it will make all the difference in the world. Mitch, I'm going to move over and I'm going to let you come and I'm going to let you speak to those that are tuned in around the world before I let you go. I want you to simply tell them what's on your heart. What is it that you would like to say to those viewers and listeners around the world, specifically from Mitch Cantor, the author, as well as the producer and musician? I'm going to move over and I'm going to say, Mitch, the floor is yours. Okay. I think the answer to that question in any business is take the high road. Be a quality company. Do the best job you possibly can do. Don't take shortcuts. Don't be afraid to be a few dollars more than the guy next door because you're using the best pipe and they're using the cheapest pipe or whatever it is. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you another little teaser of the book. This is a chapter in the book. And it talks about something that I think I learned early on in my business that was one of the things that served me the best. Whatever you're doing, whatever company you have, you're working for somebody, a problem erupts, whatever it is. When that moment happens, cherish it. Take that problem and turn it into a creative solution that will turn your situation with the customer. I'm gonna give you an example. I was building a pool on Long Island and it's funny, I talked to Kevin about this the other day and, and it was fun, but we were building a pool on Long Island and we need to have a dumpster. A dumpster is a container that you put the garbage in from the backyard. We digging up, we had trees, whatever. We got this dumpster and it, the people lived on a curve and, and it was around Christmas time, right? Like now. And when cars would come around the curve, the, the, the homeowner that I was working for was nervous that they wouldn't see the dumpster. It had a few you know, reflectors on it, but it wasn't that bright. And they were very nervous that a car would hit it. Well, I didn't tell them not to worry about it. I didn't tell them everything will be fine. What I did was I came up with a solution that became more than a solution. I went to the hardware store and I bought a couple of rolls of Christmas tree lights and I strung the Christmas tree lights all around the dumpster, ran an extension cord to the garage. And every night when we left, or if we weren't home, the homeowner could just plug in these lights and the dumpster turned into a Christmas ornament. And the neighborhood loved it. The block loved it. The people loved it. So we took what was a problem and we made it a tremendous advantage. And if you, as the business person, just remember that when Mrs. Jones calls up and she has a problem with something, it may be nothing. Come up with a little creative solution and you will do more help with your relationship with that plus customer and getting referrals and anything else you can do. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pass the word of my experience. There's a lot more in the book. There's chapters on closing. There's chapters on how you importance of being neat. It's in, there's chapters of how the owner has to lead the way. If I would walk onto a job site, I wouldn't tell my guys, guys, come over here and pick up this garbage. I'd pick up the garbage. I would show them that I would do anything that I wanted them to do. And that picked up their spirits. I had amazing relationships with people for many, many years. So if you, if you take a shot at the book and you like it, as Kevin said, if you could go to Amazon, leave a review and feel free to reach out to me with any questions that you have. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I know I just made history with you. And I think <laughs> Mitch right. did a fan fantabulous job. You got very informational. Uh, you, did, you did reflect the fact that, you know, it's not just something for entertainment purposes, but it has a purpose behind it. And that's what I like about it. Uh, I encourage others to share it. I encourage, I mean, it's the holidays. We need to get this information out to as many people as we possibly can. Because let me tell you something, it will really only take one. Literally, it will only take one. 
So the more we step up and step out on faith to put this information out to as many people as we can, it's going to be a blessing because it's going to reach that one individual that is going to ultimately make all the difference in the world. I encourage you to do so. I appreciate you. I appreciate Mitch. I appreciate all of our viewers and listeners around the world. Vic Walters over at uh, Comcast, Roku, thank you guys so much. Uh, Daniel up at Fort Lauderdale, MGH TV, thank you so much. Thank all of you, and of course, we'll be back a little bit later on because I'll be having another nice live on there conversation uh, a little bit later on this afternoon. But in the meantime, I want you guys to continue to keep it locked on the number one station in the nation, GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com, and uh, continue to be blessed and be a blessing. Until next time, Mitch, God bless you. I'll be I'll be in touch with you. You have a fantabulous rest of your day, and I look forward to talking to you again soon, all right? Sounds good. Well, had a wonderful time.